Hi, I'm Dominic from Captron. And I'm Eli with Captron. And today we're gonna show you a demonstration of our TCP calibration unit. And we start with the unboxing. Here we have the laser TCP measuring unit. And Dom, can you tell me what's in the box? Yeah, sure. When you open the box, you will find the key, the software key for the UR cap. And under it, the instruction with the cable connection. You need that later and the measuring unit. And I have this cable right here. Can you tell me about the cables? Yes, you could use a four wired or five wired cable and an M8 connector. Cool. So Dom, can you show me how to wire this controller up? Yep. So first of all, you need to know um, which cables we have. So the white one is for the X axis, the black one is for the Y axis, the brown one is for the power supply, and the blue one is zero. And now let's connect it to the connecting terminal. So you could use the digital inputs, but also the configurable inputs. In this case, we're gonna use the digital inputs. So we take out the connection terminal and connect the wires. And here's the next step. So you click in the terminals, here digital inputs, and the second one we used is this one for the zero. Dom, is it dangerous if I stick my hand in here? No, it's not. So we use laser glass two, so you should not stare into the beam. But if you want to test if the, if the laser beams are working, you can pass through with your finger. You would see the LED here, or you could check it on the I.O. menu, and you will see it if it's on or not. So here's us installing the TCP, but I noticed that the size is different. Will that change how we set up? No, so the setup is the same for every wiring we have. So in this case, we are using the 70 now and it should be fine. Sweet. So we've installed the hardware. What are our next steps though? So the next step would be to install the software, the UR cap on the teach panel. For that, I've prepared a USB stick. And you just plug it in. You can download it, bring it to the USB stick, and then you install it on the teach pendant, like this. Plus, you go on plus, then you select the USB stick. Open it. Then you need to agree our terms and conditions. You agree by pressing restart. The robot is restarting and installing the cap. So to configure your tool, you need to set up the TCP. You need to define the payload and also the center of gravity. You can use the wizards and the four point method offered by UR. But for a detailed explanation, we will show the link in our description. Let's do the setup for, for our tool now. So you create a new one. You could rename it here. Welding dummy. Then you press setup. And here you'll see the wizard, so it's a seven step guidance. You choose the right variant. You have the 70T here. Next, you select the inputs. So we had the digital zero, 
and the digital one for X and Y. You choose your reference TCP, which you've configured. Then you set the center. This one is already centered, as you can see on the LEDs, which are on. Then you press next. Here there are predefined values. We can just press next if we don't want to change anything. You could also choose between with angle adjustment or not. In this case, we activate it. Next, then we start referencing. Confirm, yes. Say you can do it automatically yes you can you could integrate the program node into your program tree with the capron action program node so you just integrate it then you select the tcp so in this case we had our welding dummy set up then you choose the action so you could only check if the tool is there or not just searching the intersection of the, the laser beams. TCP validation would be calculation of the of the offsets, but no no recalibration. And the third action would be the full program, inclu inclu including the recalibration. You can change some basic settings. You could even set limits with the tolerances on X, Y, Z. Also diameter, which is offering great use cases. Just imagine drill bits or anything. And also, you could also use tolerances for the angles. All right, and if you see this checkbox here, then the program will continue with the new TCP after the calibration. So we calibrated this thing, but how do I know I did it right? Oh, there's there's a way to check the, the configuration of the TCP. You just um, go on one point and then you change the orientation like this. And if it doesn't move or drift, then it's a good TCP. And you did a good job. So here's an example of our product helping with, um, for example, um, a bent wire. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bend the wire about a quarter inch and watch the magic happen. And now we could trigger the calibration manually here on the installation page. Press calibrate, move the robot, sensor, continue. doing its job. First the TCP and now also the orientation. What do we see here? So right here we have a demonstration of how you would use the UR robots for a welding application. So imagine you had some angled iron and you needed to hit a very specific point on whatever you are welding and going in a straight line. So what have we learned? Uh, we've learned how to set up the hardware, install the software key, configure the tool that you're using, and also set up your Captron TCP. Um, and then manually trigger uh, a recalibration and also automatically re-trigger a calibration. And this can be done in short time, no downtime for your machines, and it's a great solution. Thank you, Dominic.
coming. Thank you, Eli.